Now we're going to follow roughly the same idea to start compositing the rest of this image. So what I want you to do now is bring the file browser back to the front again. Now that is obviously done by using the same keyboard shortcut you should be used to, which is shift Control o or shift Command o on the Mac. And inside the file browser you will see next to skyscrapers is our image called starfish.psd. I want you to double click to open that. Now we can see the Starfish file is actually a cutout Photoshop file. I've already done a cutout onto a transparent background, so this is just a layer that we can use. Now what I'm going to do is actually just behind this, go ahead and close down the file browser so we can see our composite image behind and the Starfish image in the foreground. Now we currently have our marquee tool selected, so go ahead and use your shortcut, which is the V key, which you'll notice inside your tool palette switches you across to the Move tool. That means we can now go ahead and click and drag on the starfish itself and drag it straight across from one file into the other, making it appear inside our background image now. Obviously, we're now free to move that around, but it gives us our starting point for our composition. Now, before we continue, let's tidy up the screen a little bit. I'm just going to press Control R or Command R to get rid of our rulers around the outside. And then let's come up to the View menu at the top of the screen, go down and say Clear Guides. Just get rid of those. We don't need them for our construction purposes anymore. Now the starfish layer you can see is selected. If you look in your layers palette, you can see there are now two layers, obviously because we drag our composite image over the top. Just scroll the image over to the left hand side again. And what I'm going to do is just scale this one down so it's a little bit shorter. So we're going to use free transform, which is obviously control T or command T on the Mac to bring up the free transform bounding box around the outside of this layer's contents. And then just hold down the shift key and grab any one of the corners and just start to shrink it down. Now I'm bringing it to about, maybe about 80% its original size. You can always check that by looking at the width and the height values at the top of your screen in the options bar. Just in case you weren't aware of it, very handy feature of Photoshop CS as well is if you click on the lock icon here to lock the aspect ratio of scaling, you can now click on either the W or the H up here in the options bar and drag that value to scale it up and down. So you don't have to do it manually on screen you can simply drag the value up here in the options bar. So pretty handy. And what you can always do is just put your cursor anywhere outside of the bounding box and maybe rotate the starfish to a slightly different angle. And once you've done that, just hit return or enter just to say OK, and then by all means move it to a different location. Now this is going to be the starfish that's mostly in the foreground. We're going to have two or three of them almost as if they're falling from the sky. OK, we're going to have them come into frame. So we're going for more of an artistic sort of advertising poster here. So what we're going to do is take the starfish we've got, hold down the Alt key or the Option key, and simply click and drag it on screen to generate a second version of it. Now you'll see as soon as you let go of the mouse, the starfish copy layer has appeared over here in the layers palette. What I want you to do is drag that down in the list so it appears below the initial one. Obviously we're going for vertical distance here. This one does have to appear behind. It's going to be higher in the sky. Now if it's going to be higher, obviously it needs to be smaller, maybe a slightly different angle. So once again, Control T or Command T for free transform. Go ahead and use whichever process is easier for you, manual or numeric in the options bar, and get this to a different shape and a different size so we get the idea of scale here. Let's just move that one up more towards the upper left here. Once again, press Enter or Return to say OK. And then I'm going to do the same just once more to give ourselves a third starfish. So let's hold down the Alt or the Option key again, drag yet another copy, Come over to the Layers palette and drag that copy down in the list so it's now just one layer above the background layer. And once again, free transform, scale it down, let's rotate it around a little bit more, a bit more upright there, and let's move it up into the sky itself, somewhere over here, and hit Return or Enter to OK it. 